Hello everybody, my name is Michael, I'm running the Board Games Chronicle blog and today I would like to show you a short playthrough of Atlantic Chase. Atlantic Chase is one of the newest games from GMT Games by Jeremy White. A very interesting position about the struggle between Germany and UK uh, at the beginning of the Second World War, so 1939-1942. Uh, the main topic of the game is a struggle between both fleets and it is depicted on this map, this is operations map. The game uh, has a very nice component and a very good tutorial. You can see in my unboxing of the rule books, solitary scenarios as well as two player scenarios. What I'm going to play today as a presentation for you is one of the solitary scenarios. I will be playing the first one from a blockade group. As you can see, all the scenarios in Solitary Rulebook are grouped into the uh, some specific geographically related uh, subsets. And the first one uh, would be Blockade 1, Raiders of the North Atlantic, which will happen in September 1939. What kind of situation we have? First of all, we will be playing as Germans, so those white uh, stations and the trajectories against the British. Uh, the British setup is following. We have two convoys, one from Halifax to Liverpool and one from Africa to Portsmouth. Uh, we have our raiders. They had set up before war some rendezvous points, those three. We have already some raiders here in the Atlantic, another group here and the third group, the, the best one, in a kill in a reinforcement. What I would like to show you during this presentation is a couple of terms, maybe we can even play till the end of a scenario, so you can feel how, how, how the game goes. Um, we will be using all the actions, you have them very nicely depicted in the player 8, and we'll go one by one through them during the play, and the bot will be using the special table, yeah, you can see it here. Special table with actions, depending on how many convoys were destroyed or completed in England, there will be another set of actions. I played this scenario already twice, uh, solitaire of course, and I can tell you this is not an easy scenario for, for, for Germans. It, it's really difficult. I uh, actually lost. I achieved major defeat in my first game, but the second game went much better. Okay, so what we shall do? First of all, uh, we have a good weather, yeah, the weather is here, and the initiative is with Germans, so the tally initiative, so additional points to, 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 to the roll for initiatives, are on the British side. Okay, let us start from the turn one. I will not be going through all the actions one by one theoretically, but I will describe them during the actual gameplay. So the human player, the Germans are first. Uh, what I will do, I will first perform a trajectory action, which means that this station will turn into trajectory. Station means that we know that the ships are here, the task force is here. The trajectory means that I'm building a road uh, uh, by which the ships will be traveling and what we know is that they are somewhere over there we don't know where exactly the trajectory action uh, does not trigger any kind of a initiative change or uh, any, any, any uh, time lapses and a shortening of the trajectories and so on so this is my first uh, action the second action would be hiding those guys in the port. Vider is a pretty poor ship which has a slow uh, speed. I've tried in my previous second, uh, two attempts to, to, to perform some actions with that ship, but it was hopeless, simply hopeless, yeah, so that, that I will not do. As another action, I will try to bring the reinforcement into the play. 
So in order to bring reinforcements into the play, I will execute the reorganize action. Reorganize allows us to split or combine task forces, but also we can attempt the reinforcement. Uh, on 7-12 we succeed, on 2-6 we fail. We succeeded, this is 8. So Graf Spe and Reder, the leader, are entering the game. They enter the game in kill. And what I will do, because again, the reorganize if success, we keep the initiative, <coughs> I will create trajectory. I will create trajectory to this rendezvous point. And uh, unfortunately, the trajectory will at least for a moment go next to this uh, airfield. So the enemy would be able to bombard us. So I hope to as soon as possible get out of there. This airfield is not working because it's 1939 and it is uh, operational only from 1942. Okay, nice. And as you already know, the trajectory action does not trigger any initiative change. What we can do now? I think it would be good to search for this convoy with a naval search action. Naval search is one of the most powerful actions. Uh, naval search, uh, the abbreviation is here. What you need to do is first to calculate the trajectory total. Trajectory total is a sum of the active trajectory, so this is one, and the target trajectory. Let me use uh, the designators. It's really helpful. So we search for this trajectory. Our active task force is here. We do not have any planes to provide us with uh, air, uh, air support. We do not have any secondary uh, uh, task force here, so we will not have coordination. There is no intel, I, I'm not gonna use it. There is a special intel marker for uh, German forces. We can, we can use it later on. So we will perform the naval search. First of all, we calculate the total. So base number, active task force, plus, ta plus target task force, yes? So it's like one, two, three, four. Okay. 11 plus three, it's 14. So we look into this mm, column 10, 15. And there are no modifiers. We roll. Fine. This is not the best roll, but also not the worst one. So five gives us the result which is called early or late so what we do we remove this part of trajectory and then we remove either uh, beginning or the end of the trajectory uh, this convoy goes that way so if we remove this part it means that we are early too early before convoy if we remove this part it would mean that we are too late because we are already here we of course would like to catch him so we are removing that part Important note that after performing the naval search, the active task, all task forces except the target one, perform time lapse. What is time lapse? You can understand this as uh, actually moving on the ocean, and the, um, this move is um, explained on, over here. Let me just show you the table. Yeah, this is here and this is here. So our force, uh, which consists of Lutsov, is medium speed. And the medium speed in good weather, because we have good weather, can move like free. In bad weather, you would roll a die. Let me just remove it. So what is going on? One, two, and when you remove the last one, you put a station. Yeah. 
And at the end of a naval search, once we already performed action on the target task force, uh, all designated task force except target task force uh, performed the time lapse. Now we have something which is called SIS initiative. In a normal game, the inactive player will roll two die, two dice, and if they have nine or more, they will take the initiative. For the bot, it's slightly different. Let me just double check. But I think on one four, they attempt to seize initiative, but on five six, they will try evasive maneuver. They roll four, so they will try to seize the initiative. Eleven, which means they take the initiative. So now the tally goes that way, <coughs> and we check for weather. The weather roll is 4, which means no change, the weather stays good. Now we would like to know what they will do. So we will roll on the action table. Yeah? British action table. We have zero convoys destroyed and or completed. We roll 4, which is B. B means blockade. Okay. Create a new British task force. Uh, this would be the task force. Place three CAs in it. I think I have it prepared. So we will we'll have three more ships. They go to the separate forces display. Okay. Uh, we place the station and uh, we roll again. This is not a good news for Germans. This is definitely not a good news for them. Uh, but let's see. Again, British action. Six. Six means C and action C is compl completion action. Uh, remove damaged ships. There are no damaged British ships. Select a British task force with a convoy, we have two. If more than one, select the shortest trajectory, this is the shortest. If no convoy in play, treat as a convoy, okay. Okay, this task force will try to complete in Liverpool. Uh, but they need to perform the trajectory action first. You see, at this point in time they are shorter than both. But then, when we add this trajectory, there will be longer, so you may contemplate whether I should actually try to complete it with this convoy. Let me do it with that, for now. And they, of course, would like to avoid the German forces. This is the trajectory. And now, they would like to complete. Complete is another action. Completion. Okay. Uh, the Trajectory total might be maximum six, and one of the um, trajectory pieces has to be in port. Then you can, if there is no intel in this trajectory, remove all those six pieces and remove it from game. For British in this scenario, this is a victory pawn. However, it can be prevented if the opposing player tries to seize the initiative. What our action says? Uh, we cannot perform the completion due to the length. Uh, so we will do time lapse. Remove a selected task force segments farthest from the destination port. So those. This is of course convoy and convoys as you may expect, let me show it to you, are slow. Slow, which means they only remove two. Okay. Okay, now, uh, after successful completion, there was no successful completion, there is an initiative change, and if there is no initiative change, we roll again on the table. Two. Two me means airstrike. We can test another action. Airstrike would be most probably here. Here, the um, British will get the best modifiers. How do we do the airstrike? Uh, let me use the designators. There will be a lot of interesting pieces. We launch the airstrike from Scapa Flow. We would like to strike at this German task force. 
and coordinating task force will be here. So how do we calculate the air strength? First of all, as always, uh, we need to calculate the trajectory total. Uh, 369 plus 0, so this is 9. Trajectory total is 9. After calculating this, um, we add the modifiers. We have a table for airstrike here. It can be only done in good weather, let's remember. This would be that table. The common modifiers are following. Air support, there is no air support, it's airstrike. Is there a contact marker? No. Mm, do we have uh, evasive maneuvers? No. But there is a coordination which gives plus two to British. So they will roll with two dice on the column five, nine on airstrike, adding two. Bad, good, and badly. My goodness. 12 plus 2, 14. Airstrike on 5, 9, 14 means the contact. So they know more or less where the Germans are. But the worst thing is that they are damaged. This is a damage marker if I'm not mistaken. Damage. Damage means our graph spe turns upside down on the damage side. But a lot of uh, minus points for us, unfortunately. Now, after the airstrike, we have something called Vi for initiative. This is separate from C's initiative. Vi for initiative means both sides roll the dice and whoever rolls more takes the turn. But now you see British will still have an initiative, but we'll have plus one on next Y4 initiative or C's initiative roll. But things did not start well for the Brit for the Germans. So for now, let's see what the British will do. Six versus C and again that means completion, completion, action. One of those two contacts will attempt to complete. That one is the shorter one. It can't complete if it's not six yet, so it will simply do the time lapse. Uh, yeah. And then we roll again for action. Action is free. Free means B blockade. Okay. Mm, we cannot place again this task force, but it's as if this is the second or subsequent time this result has been garnered on the action table and the British task force station is in the hex shown here, it is. Ignore this result and treat it as an X. X means the size of action. Mm -hmm. uh, now, select a British task force with a battle cruiser. We don't have any task force, uh, British task force with battle cruisers. If not in play, select an identified task force. There is not such a task force. And if none in play, cre create such a task force. So we create such task force. In Scapa Flow or Gibraltar, whichever is nearest to German task force. Unfortunately, Scapa Flow is the nearest one. And then we perform actions intended to bring to battle the nearest German task force. It doesn't say anymore, but I know. I think you for now know what we will do. First, we will do the trajectory, then we will do naval search, and if we manage to shorten this trajectory of enemy to the station, then we can engage them. So let's do it. First, we do the trajectory, so our ships simply sail that way. We don't know who exactly is in this task force. This is not yet known. Then we perform naval search. And what is the trajectory total? We have still 9 here, plus 2 it's 11. So it will be naval search 10 and 15. Then we have common modifiers and we have a lot of them. We have air support. This is air support with a distance of 1, which adds plus 2 to active player. Then we have contact, which adds for the slow, we are now slow ship 
plus 3, this is plus 5, plus 5, and we have coordinating task force, which is another 2, which is plus 7. Plus 7 on 10, 15. That can end really badly. 6 plus 7, 13. 13 means engagement. Yeah, we'll have our first battle. What happens? This is transferred here. Okay. Yeah, the contact is here. And we'll have a battle, and I think this battle... Skirmish. And we are faster. So the British will most probably be faster than the Germans, uh, with British, both British, because uh, this Graf Spe is damaged and uh, it will, uh, it will uh, be slow. So let's see what kind of task force is here. To identify the British task force, we roll on a table, identify British task force, and it can end really badly. Free. Free is battle cruiser plus CA. I have some prepared. Okay. And CA. So it will be battle uh, battle cruiser not. One second. Ah, here it is. Hood. It will be hood. Who is fast and will be CA, who is also fast. That means we will have a battle. So we move here ships. We move here and just for information rather. And the Grashpe who is damaged. Uh, in the end this will transform after the battle to the station. I can actually do it already. This is not a big deal. Now how the battle looks like. The weather is good, so we would have like free turn, free run. Uh, the Germans will deploy definitely with smoke. They want to escape. And the battle is played in that way. You have gunnery, so they shoot at each other. Then you have torpedoes, only those close um, trajectories. Then you have maneuver, you can move on this small map, and you have breakaway. This is pretty abstracted uh, battle, but I think still uh, very informative. So first of all, we are shooting. Do we have any kind of surprise? Okay, this is skirmish, so this is only um, a limited battle. We'll have one round. Yeah, a normal battle would have three rounds in good weather, in bad weather two rounds, in advanced rules four rounds. So only one exchange of fire. How do we do it? If we shoot from far to far, you can see, we use three dices, and out of those three dices, we utilize the two logs. So let me shoot with CA. It has zero long range, minus one due to smoke. So this is one and four, minus one, it is four. To strike, you need nine, so it's not enough. Hood has plus one, which is uh, with smoke neutralize one another. Okay, two ones, so this is one. We can try to shoot with Graf Spe, not big chances. It has zero, minus one due to smoke. Yeah, smoke also is a disturbance to Graf Spe. Okay, he has five minus one, four. So for now, we are safe, but we don't know for how long Graf Spe will be safe. It's not the best position here for him. We have too many forces concentrated on him. Once the battle is finished, we vie for initiative, so we roll two dices, and whoever gets more, and the Germans have plus one, takes the initiative. Unfortunately, 
it will be again British. So if, if these are British, we roll on their action. They roll one, which is airstrike. Airstrike will be here and it will be a very powerful airstrike. I'm afraid Graf Spee might not mm -hmm, survive. Airstrike on zero. We have contact plus, plus two die modifier. And we have coordinating task force plus another two uh, task force modifier. Actually, for this contact on a slow ship, which is plus three. So we have plus five. Plus five on airstrike. 11, not surprisingly, the Graf Spe is sunk. No more. And Admiral Raider is killed. Okay, I will stop here this scenario went pretty badly for Germans. I'm not sure if I could do better here, uh, as you can see, uh, getting out of Germany uh, to the full Atlantic was very difficult for Germans uh, in the early stages of war. Once they have access to the Norway and French ports, it would be completely different history. But for now, they, they, they were contained. Most probably, if I would be playing longer, my outcome of a scenario would be pretty bad. Each scenario lists which victory points and for which you can get minus and plus, and then uh, what outcome you achieved. My outcome in this scenario, uh, having the ship uh, sunk, zero convoys so far taken over, might be like minus three. So, Gross Admiral Redder is relieved of command. Actually, he is relieved of command because he didn't survive the airstrike from the British. Thank you very much for this short video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will be back with more, most probably the, another solo scenario. I don't want to go too far, too deep with, with this one. Most probably we would need to restart to achieve some good results. Thank you very much once again. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, click like. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for today.